little sugar buggers, what is up? Welcome back to the channel for another Sims 4 mod review. This time, you guys, we are going to be checking out the More Cast Presets mod by Zubru. And this mod was created two months ago on December 8th, 2017. And honestly, even though it's been out for a couple months, I just heard about this mod. I don't remember exactly how or where, but I think I was like watching YouTube videos and I saw somebody had like all these extra presets and I'm like, what the heck? So I typed in more presets and this popped up. So originally I was kind of on the fence whether or not I was going to give this mod its own video spotlight because I've been wanting to do an updated uh, must have cast mods for The Sims 4 where I would go over like what skin and eyes I use, the background, um, the lighting for cast that I that I use, what poses I recommend, and that sort of a thing. And then obviously this was going to be a part of that video. Also touching base on like the four columns and yada yada yada, the list goes on. So if you guys are still interested in that video, please let me know because a few things have changed in my essentials since the last one that I did. So anyway, let me go and tell you very briefly what this mod does and what it entails. So basically, you know how when you click on your individual eyes, nose, and all that kind of stuff in The Sims 4 and it has like a computer different presets and yeah they're fun but like after you know a while it, 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 all of the sims just end up looking the same well this gives you hundreds to choose from and when I mean hundreds y'all I mean hundreds it's insanity to me and so if you are like me and you're stuck in the subconscious of creating the same sim time after time after time after time and you're looking to kind of branch out and try maybe different types of styles that aren't necessarily what you do every day this mod is going to take you places this mod is going to get you there and at first when I saw it I was like nah like I don't need this and then once I had it in my game <laughs> I could never ever go back so I will obviously leave the link to this mod in the description and without any further ado let's go get into Kaz. All right, so I wanted to start off with a sim that we are all very familiar with, and it is Miss Babs Lamour. I don't know how to say her last name, but honestly, <laughs> what else is new? If we click on Babs's face, you're gonna notice that she is the bottom left-hand corner preset, right? It's just she has blonde hair. Now, it doesn't add, this mod doesn't add any extra like facial presets, but if you start playing around with the eyes and the nose and the lips and the mouth and the forehead, you're gonna see a whole bunch of different variations of presets. And I think it's really freaking amazing because with a couple of clicks of a button, you can turn this sim, that's a typical ordinary EA preset, into something extremely unique. And the best part that you guys will see in Zubru's listing is that the the um, presets are generatable. <laughs> so like they'll, they'll generate on random townies that populate your world. So you're gonna get a whole bunch of unique looking sims. And I think that's really freaking awesome I think that's super cool and I do believe these are preset capabilities that you could do under the advanced mode um, or edit detail mode in your game so if you do upload these sims to the gallery uh, it's not gonna be like a slider where somebody downloads them they're gonna look completely different does that make sense so that's pretty cool. All right, let's go play around with a couple of things. So if you touch her head shape, you're gonna get a couple different head shapes, but I really don't notice a whole lot of whole lot of flex there. Now, her eyes is where I feel like you will notice the largest difference. So if we start playing around with a couple of these eye presets, you're gonna notice the array of different options you have. Like you have a whole bunch of things you can play with. And quick little FYI, I highly suggest that you get the no EA eyelashes mod. So you know like that little black band that kind of sticks out from their eyes. Get rid of it, you don't need that crap. Um, there's a bunch of fun like EA, not EA lashes, but 3D lashes or no lashes at all. Like lashes are so overrated, you know what I mean? Uh, I just feel like you have a lot more playroom when you don't have those. And I, trust me, I fought it for the longest time. So I really love the eyes. I feel like there's just a lot of fun little presets here and um, you can really give your sim an entirely new look. So I'm trying to find one that I really like and we already got a different looking sim. So if we click her nose, I'm gonna just play around with some of the brand new noses, which is really fun. Uh, if you take a long time to create Sims, this is going to speed up that process at least by 50%, y'all. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Um, there's also some really fun cheek presets that are in game. And we also have some chin presets, which are kind of cool. And what else is there? I think there's a couple other things too. We have lips. Oh my God, I am notorious for creating the same freaking lips all the damn time. And again, it's just because like, 
it's the shortest distance from A to B, right? Like if I'm creating a creative sim, I don't want it to be 45 hours long. So by, by default, I almost go for what I know. Like we, it's just weird. Once you get into the grind of creating the same sim, it's extremely hard for you to get out of it. And I feel like this kind of breaks that barrier. So already just by a couple clicks, we have a sim that kind of looks like Drew Barrymore from the side. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, this is really confusing. But of course you can come in here and kind of, you know, add your own little, add your own little special, special touch to the sim now okay so if you are done with with her face and you wanted to play a little bit more there's also some really fun body presets too so you can click around you can play with the ones that you like and then of course you can go in there and change things up too this is another thing that I struggle with and it's okay we're human like we're not perfect you know especially when it comes to greeting the sims it's okay but this is really gonna help you kind of branch out a little bit and you don't even need to touch anything if you don't want to because then you'll start you know going back to your old ways I feel like we're in like create a sim anonymous or something but uh yeah this is a super amazing freaking mod now the only issue <laughs> I had to say it the only issue that I have with it but not necessarily with it in itself is if you are like the way that I used to be right and I had like six gigabytes of CC you're gonna notice that um, you will okay like when you're changing your sim well first <laughs> These are all gonna take hours to load, I swear, I'm not even kidding. And then if you start kind of playing with them like this and you get this little loading icon and you go to save your kit, your your sim while the icon, the icon, the icon is still rotating, you're gonna be in, in this, in, you're gonna be stuck in this you're going to be stuck in this continuous loop of save and it's never going to freaking end. So just make sure that you don't have a huge amount of CC. And again, this may not actually ever happen to you, but for me it did and it was very frustrating. Or just take your time and let everything load before you save. So I think that's about it. I did show you guys while I was flapping my lips that there's some ear presets too, which is really freaking awesome. I really love the fact that they've really gone super, super deep in detail with all the different types of ways that you can customize your Sims. And to be honest with you guys, this is definitely a freaking essential and it is base game compatible in case anybody wanted to know. Now, I think that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions for me or anyone else, please leave them in the comments down below. Hopefully I covered everything and again if you would like an updated um create or an updated must have cast mods video let me know as well so thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to comment rate and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and i will see you all next time bye guys